Time for another ranked match. I was trying to, uh, <laughs> I clicked on the, oh man, that was a huge mistake, huge mistake, I cannot believe I did that, wow, wow, alright, turn that in for mana, play an infantry man, what I should have done last turn, I clicked to the end round button, uh, I'm not gonna play plate armor on this guy, so. That's my turn. Looks like I'm playing against an, an order deck. Okay. I'll move them down. I do not want to kill myself against the spearmen. I will play an obelisk down here in hopes that I get shrines to put behind it. I will... Oh, that will be my turn. Wait, I need to change... Yeah. Alright, sack that for mana. Now that's my turn. I probably should sack the obelisk, actually. Me move to a random location adjacent. Interesting, I haven't seen that card before. Alright, so the Spearman is attacking this turn. Huh, I will. I don't really want to kabonk any of them. Because I can't kill them. I kind of want to save a kabonk for a zealot if my opponent plays one. Alright, so I'll sack that for mana and play a skirmisher. down to get one more health I will uh, I will speed it's kind of a waste but I will speed them they will kill the this dude hmm. I don't want to sack any of these Now if he, if my opponent can move my skirmisher to another row, my skirmisher dies. The only reason he, he is still alive is because of my infantryman, giving him one additional hit point. I really didn't want to get rid of that kabonk, but I need the mana if I draw you know, an honorable general or a vanguard. I'm gonna need that mana. There you go, vanguard. All right, so, hmm. 
I cannot move my skirmisher at all. I do not want to use pushback on a spearman. And I I don't want to play my vanguard this turn because then my vanguard is not synced with their cooldowns. Oh, buddy. The thing is, he can move the spearman down to finish off my skirmisher. Alright, I'm going to do that, use my, my vanguard as a, uh, a wall, kind of. I need cards, I need cards. Alright, you know what, I'm just going to... Okay, okay. And that's one of the, the things I like about this game, the mechanic that the way you get cards and mana is that you have to sack cards from your hand, so it's... It's a real choice sometimes. You're like, oh, do I keep pushback if he, just in case my opponent draws, you know, like an honorable general, or do I sack it for more cards? And it's, that's that's fun. And it's different from uh, like m the magic way of things. Hmm. Three, four. Whew. Huh. Okay. So I'm going I'm going to sack this for mana so I can play my two shrines, which will keep these two alive. So now I can move Yeah, I'll move these two up here. This skirmisher has been on borrowed time for like three rounds. Oh my gosh. Um, my opponent may finish off the skirmisher this time though. With this spearman. Or maybe just work on my vanguard? Because right now my vanguard's whole purpose is basically not working right now. Because his cooldown is not synced with anyone else's. So right now it's just 3-7. Oh! Wow! He had all those cooldowns. He's going to kill him. Okay. That was a nice play. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Well, shit. I can't move my skirmisher or my or that guy because then he'll die. So I'll just move them up. Ah, oh, well, too late now. I will summon or give him a buff that when he dies I will get one order. I guess I'll play my spearman. Darn. Ah. Oh. Cooldown reduction is a pain. Opponent has me beat in unit count. Oh man, does he? I kind of need the 
the spearmen to block his guys, or else I would have sacked it for two cards. Now, is my opponent going to move these two up or attack my spearmen? I need some good cards. Some really good cards. Oh. Okay. Getting rid of one of my shrines. Ooh. And focusing. This is looking bad. This is looking bad. Skirmisher. Oh, it sucks being on the defensive here. If I don't get consistent good draws, then this game is probably not going to be a win. That's a smart choice. Moving the crosswoman up to kick, take him out. Or just pushing him back and killing my skirmisher. That was a good move. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. This dude's kicking my ass. Put walking stones there. Put my spear in the back. Taking off the plate armor. Yep. Damn. Brutal. I'm kind of surprised my opponent did that. Just get rid of my spearmen. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just frost one all of them to increase their cooldowns. Play the shrine. Pray that I keep getting more cards. Or good cards. So, uh, Frostwind increased all their cooldowns by one. So, it, it buys me an extra round. Unless, of course, my opponent just plays speed. Good news that these two de uh, units are almost dead. I need to get rid of that 5-3. These cross... Oh, God. Oh, God. Why'd you go bonk him? There's... That's why. Okay. So these two are gonna go... Mm-mm-mm. All 
Alright, so if I play this on my Spearman, my opponent could choose to move these both down and kill him, but they would kill those two in the process. So I would do this. <sighs> yep, I'll do that in my turn. Instead of sacking Crown for two more cards. But I also did that in hopes that if my opponent doesn't kill my Spearman, I have enough damage here to kill the Crossbowman. But really, all my opponent has to do is move the Crossbowman down to this row, and I can't touch them. rocked okay well I guess I will kill this 5-3 I'll sack that for cards play a zealot Trying to think what I can do. Uh oh. Ah. Alright, so he took off my crown of. What is it called? Crown of Strength off of my Spearman. Oh, man. I need good cards. Uh, okay. Cast that. Alright, so I'm going to call back my Spearman. Resummon them. Then, actually that was dumb. I should just summon obelisks. What was I doing? What was I thinking? It's two, five. Maybe I can take them out. Oh man. What do I do? That's what I do. I'll leave my bottom open to take out my shrine. My Zealot will take out the Crossbowman. <sighs> Beyond that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. The Spearman's going to be a problem. to buff the crossbowman's health so this Zella can't kill him. I see. I see.
Okay. So. I will sack that. Blessings of haste. So I will instead kill... Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to do Blessing of Haste. He will kill him. This guy will kill the Archer, who will no longer be getting the one hit point bonus from this guy. My Zealot will be sacrificed to kill this 3-1. And... That's it. I can summon an Obelisk, I guess, but... Yeah, summon... Nope! Went out of time. Damn. Yeah, sometimes I guess I, I, I take a while, but this game is really close, and I'm trying to think about every strategy that I can do with the cards that I have, so I apologize if it takes a while. But these are ranked matches, people. This is serious business. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. He's gonna clear that row, isn't he? Are you just gonna kill him? Okay. Okay. Well. Well, damn it. So I have a walking wall there. Er, walking stones. So, my opponent will probably drop down here. What do I wanna do? Call him back. Play him again. Sack the obelisk for cards. And frost one these three. Call that a turn. How many of those does he have? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, 3 6. I can kill the 3-6. Oh no, I already moved him down! Alright, well, I'm gonna have to wait. I will summon the Zealot here. And end my turn. So either the, the Spearman is gonna go up and deal 1 damage to my stone, or go down and deal 3 to my Spearman. Plus any other tricks my opponent has right now with five cards. That's scary.
All right, decides to go up and take out the stones. Or my solid with pushback. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, then I will summon my stones again. I will push back. Spearman? I don't need to yet. Hmm, I don't want to play this. I don't know. Do I push back the Spearman now? Yeah. I, I might as well to get rid of the enchantments and then I can summon my honorable general. And then end my turn. I would have liked to wait until, as like kind of like a surprise, like okay, push him back, then kill everyone behind him. But I need this man to open to summon my general, which I guess I could have done. Ah, I guess I could have waited. Oh well. What should have could have? That sucks. That really sucks. Mm. <laughs> wow, that card again. Oh my god. This is not good. I don't want to get rid of any of these. Thought he would do. I'm trying to buy time to keep these two idols up. I thought that by sticking him there, that may for well not force him, but he'd be like, "Oh, I can kill that spearman." Ah, three cross women in one one row. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I need to buy. Two more turns, so my skirmish short can kill everybody. Oh shit. Another cooldown reduction. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I need to get my general out. Nothing dies. I can clear out the those three, or I can clear out these guys with my two focuses on my skirmisher. That'll put him up to what ten? I think this is more scary simply because these guys have trample damage. Or do I kill 
these guys. What do I do? What do I do? Sorry, I'm thinking in my head right now. So I'm not well, I'm not talking. Oh. Do I kill the archers or do I kill this row? What do I do? That's a lot more damage. Okay. Okay. So that'd be six, that's enough to kill all three. I won't waste my other focus right now. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, wrong. Oh my god. I'm just... I'm melting down here, people. <laughs> I am melting down. I cast a spell on a unit that was gonna die. <laughs> oh. That's how just nervous I am. Or is that... That's not really the right word. I'm worried. Why did I cast that spell on the archer? Oh my gosh. Falling apart. So what happens when we only have one idol left? Oh god. So that's six, seven. Oh, it's not enough to kill the skirmisher unless he does that. Okay. Not enough to kill the general though. Son of a bitch. Okay. Probably should have moved the skirmisher up there just in case my opponent can push these guys back and decrease their cooldowns. Oh. My opponent is trying to get this one. So I need seven, so I will kabunk that, focus that, so kill those two, get rid of that. Play a skirmisher. I have a flip so I can flip this guy up here and kill him. Which is why I didn't summon my skirmisher down here. And there's 10 hit points on that one, so even like with two focus, he would need three focus cards to buff this. Okay, so he's really fully just trying to go down here. Okay. I can't flip all three. That I cannot do. <sighs> that would buy me some time. Ooh. 
these two idols may be dead next turn. Yep, that's the role I thought he was going to focus. I don't know if maybe my opponent was trying to trick me into thinking that he was going to go after the shrine and this walking stones. I didn't really think that was the role he was going for. Because of this. Like, that's four times. You have to, oh my god. Does he have a cooldown and, like, focus? Oh my god. This guy... This guy. <sighs> okay. That's ten. Oh, that'd be eight, nine, ten. I could only do six. Okay, 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 okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. F is that the only opponent? is only opponent. Alright, well I will flip this guy up here. I will summon wait, wait, wait. I really hope he does not have a pushback and a focus. Please, please don't have a pushback and a focus. I should have called back the stones and put them there, not the not the spearman. Please, don't beat me this turn. Be a kind opponent. Don't win. He's taking all this time, but like I figured if he had a Oh my god! Please no! Oh, oh my god. This this opponent. Oh my god, this opponent. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I should have been moving these guys down. I thought oh, doesn't matter what I thought. Well, nothing else I can do. If this person has a pushback, a relocate, a move, anything, then I lose. Oh, 
Ah. Ah. Woo. Oh my god, if that pushed down there. Uh. Oh. Okay. I'm still in it. I am still in it. Seven. Oh my god. How do you, I thought I had play <gasps> He played purification. Oh my god. I forgot. <laughs> he took away the plate armor on my obelisk and won the game. Oh man. Oh, for a second, I thought that maybe I was going to win that. I was like, okay, so my obelisk is going to take all that damage, and then I'm going to counter him and kill all of his guys and win this game. Oh, how stupid was I? He had purification. He had purification. All right, well, that was an intense game. Oh, <laughs> so it sucks when you play in a game for in like half of it you think you're gonna lose and at the end you like the hope the, that ray of hope comes down and it's like ah, you may win this and then no your opponent continues to kill you so that was a good game good game to my opponent uh neck tease neck tease whatever i uh, hope you enjoyed